Warden's coming! Give him a place. Everybody stays here a while, and then they leave. Stop fighting. Don't interfere, boy. Or he'll just beat you instead. <laughs> Don't interfere with grown-ups' affairs, kitty. Stop it. He's too weak to bear your punches. Nobody can bear them. <sighs> Don't, son. Think of yourself. He's a human. How can I be indifferent? Stop it. I'll tell you for the last time. Stop this fighting. What did you say? I said stop fighting. <laughs> when they were shoeing horses, a mosquito raised its foot too. <laughs> <laughs> You were told not to try and fight the inmates. And you've started already. I was preventing a fight. I didn't fight. Excellency Kitterman, if not for this young man, <coughs> Nineveh Kepta would have killed me. What exactly do you do here? The inmates rip each other apart and you stand by and watch? From now on, whoever causes a fight or disorder in prison will receive 100 lashes.
Nineveh Kafka will receive 100 lashes for starting the fight, and Yusuf 50. How is it he bears the lashes? He's very strong. Didn't you see how firmly he held Nenefer Captor? It's not fair. He shouldn't be punished. Fifty. That's enough. Untie him. I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. You risked your life for me. Killed me if you weren't there. We're humans. We must help each other. It was my duty to support you. Twenty nine. One hundred. Take him to solitary confinement. What's your name? Why are you here? Why did I bring you here? To the people of Egypt, Yuzar Sif is what I'm called. Till this morning, I was Potiphar's chamberlain. I am imprisoned because I disobeyed my master. What was the next question? Although you're very young, you were the Chamberlain of Potiphar, the governor of Egypt. Nineveh Kepta always thrashes prisoners to maintain his superiority in prison. He bullies everyone. Kidaman has punished him many times, but he keeps bullying. Today, for the first time, he was taught a lesson by you. I know who he is. He was a guard in Potiphar's palace. I had hoped that prison would teach him a lesson. But... He was going to prison like a victorious hero. What if he doesn't apologize? Don't rush, my lady. It's still too early to judge. He will appreciate the comfort and the freedom of the palace in a few days. The day he was leaving, he looked like someone released from prison. Not someone going to prison. 
I hope this trick will work. Otherwise, I'll blame you. Oh, my benevolent lord. Joseph is caught in pain and suffering. Please help him. I lost my freedom so as not to lose thee. O oh Lord, make easy the hardship of prison and torture for me. Grant me the patience and forbearance. My Lord, Potiphar and Zuleika did very much for me. I forgave them. You forgive them too. Save Zuleika from the various prisons she has created for herself and guide her to thy path. You were once a guard in Potiphar's palace. How do you know? This young man knows you. Do I know you? Why don't you correct yourself? Why don't you stop acting wickedly? I witnessed you stealing when I was a child. And now I witness you bullying. Who are you? How do you know me? I am the child who caused your imprisonment. Potiphar's palace, the treasury of the palace. Do you remember? I will never forget you. I've sworn to take revenge on you, and I will. Watch yourself. I'm not afraid of you, but I am afraid you'll get yourself killed by acting wickedly. What was that about? Nothing important. Just something in the past that happened between us. Who are they? What have they done? Why are they in a separate cell? I don't know. They brought him yesterday. Their charge must be serious. They don't much look like wicked men. <laughs> they fight each other. Who knows why?
What will happen to our wives and children? You coward! You deserve whatever happens to you! If you weren't a clumsy coward, a Manatep would be dead right now. And both of us would have good positions and a good amount of wealth. What do you think will happen to us? I'm not worried about that. We didn't kill a Manatep, so someone else will. I'm sure we'll be free soon. So you have people to finish your unfinished job? <laughs> Please, tell me who they are. Say their names, so we'll be freed from here. What a simpleton you are. Idiot! We're alive as long as we have information. But we're dead if we say anything. I'm sure I'll be safe from here. But be sure that you have no escape, you cowardly traitor. I won't let it happen. <laughs> I think you are a simpleton. You were deceived. Now you're in danger and they don't care about you. Stop it, Inaros. Stop it. I trust them. I do trust them. I really do. Don't worry, they'll help us. I'm positive they'll help us. There's no news about Apophis, either. So what you're saying is that you think he's missing? Yes, Your Eminence. It looks as though he has vanished into thin air. You must find him. Look for him in the prisons and the palace. If he has been caught, he mustn't breathe a word. And wherever you do find him, make sure that he will be silenced forever. Our situation is dire. If Amenhotep discovers that we tried to kill him, it will bring great shame on the temple. As yet, they haven't acted against us. Which means nobody knows anything yet. Or if Apophis has been caught, at least, he hasn't said anything about us so far. Do not worry, Your Eminence. I will find him, even if he is in the ground or in the sky. Mimisabu. Yes, Excellency Radaman. What is this? It's some food. I'm taking it to use our seaf. I want you to give this to Kidaman on my behalf. Tell him to respect Yuzar Sif. And to use him to improve the prison situation. Because despite being young, he is wise and experienced. I, I will, Excellency Radaman. I will.
come in. Give my regards to Rodden and thank him. What's in the bag? I have brought some food for you, Zarsif. This is a prison. It's not part of his palace. But as Rodman has sent it, I will allow it. Bring you Zarsif here. You, sir, see. You are summoned by Excellency Kitterman. Talk a while. Keep it short. Calm down, Mimi Sabu. Calm down. Are you crying for my release from prison? No, I'm crying because you are in prison. Then don't bother. For me, Potiphar's palace was the prison. Not this. I feel free here. <laughs> Look what I have brought for you. That's wonderful. Prisoners will be very happy. I brought it for you, not the prisoners. But of course, you would never keep it for yourself. At least have some of it. Don't give it all away. All right. My understanding was that it was only Lady Zaleka who loved you in Potiphar's palace. But it appears that Yusasif is prevalent among all palace residents. Thank you. Did you tell Excellency Kitterman about Lady Zaleka? No. Excellency Rodman did. He considers you are a wise and experienced man and hopes that the prison will benefit from your presence. Excellency Rodman is very kind. And if you will allow it, some things could be done to improve the conditions. Distribute this amongst the prisoners. Easy, there's enough for everyone. Easy, give some to the others too. It isn't much, but perhaps it could be a start to reconciliation. Reconciliation? There is nothing between you and me, except hate, spite, and revenge. All right, but no one has ever benefited from spite, and neither will you. The bitterness of spite and wrath makes tenfold the hardships of prison. You are the reason I have been in here for ten long years, and I will have my revenge. If you hadn't stolen, you wouldn't be in prison. You should think about that.
Why do you tolerate living like this? Why don't you do something to clean it up? If we were to clean it up, then they'd just keep us here even longer. <laughs> this is a prison. We are not guests, and this is not a guest house. Actually, we are all guests here. The whole world is a guest house, including this prison. We stay in the world some time, and then we leave. The fact that we are prisoners, and here only temporarily, are not reasons good enough to bear this filth and decay. Radamon, forgive me, Excellency Radamon. He saw me. What what I mean is, I saw him. I saw you, Zarsif. <laughs> How was he? Very well. Just in the few days he has been there, he has impressed the prison warden. I gave your letter to Excellency Kidderman. Well, he summoned you, Zarsif. You, Zarsif, hugged me. He was very kind to me. Is he upset at being in prison? No, not at all. On the contrary, he was very happy. He said that Zavira prison was much better than Lady Zaleika's prison. What can I do for you, Lady Karimama? Nothing. I had a question about you, Zarsif, but I now have my answer. Is it bad? Not really. Don't worry. But she'll report to Lady Zaleika now. That would be something to see. <laughs> Zavira prison better than Lady Zaleika's prison. <laughs> I'll turn Zavira prison into your living hell. You will wish 1,000 times a day to live in the stable of Zaleika's house. I'll show you. We'll see. Write this. My house worse than Zavira prison. My house is... Not that, you fool. I'm sorry, my lady. Write that. I sent you Zarsif to prison as punishment. 
so that he learns to obey. A slave who disobeys his mistress will suffer pain. He should be tortured until he forgets disobedience altogether. Yuzar Seif will be freed from prison and torture only when he decides to obey. And tell that to Yuzar Seif. You may leave and inform Lady Zaleka that her orders will be carried out. You have a choice. You can be freed from here. All that is required is a letter from me informing the lady of your obedience. Hmm. I prefer this captivity to that kind of freedom. And whether a prison is torturous to satisfy Lady Zaleka, or a safe haven away from her traps, is your decision. I will not carry out her orders unless I am forced. Excellency Kidderman, may I request something? Go ahead. We can improve the prison's conditions with the help of the inmates, but we cannot change or repair the clothing. Will you help us? I will try. Have you seen a papis, the table decker of the pharaoh, around anywhere? Greetings to the dear commander. Uh, have you seen uh, Apophis, uh, the table decker to the pharaoh? I wish to see him. They kept him here for a night a few days ago, then took him away. Away? Where to? And why was he brought here? What has he done? I don't know. They brought them here and took them away on Excellency Potiphar's orders. Them, you say? How many of them were there? Two. Apophis and Inoros. Why do you want to see them? It's nothing important. He just left something in my trust, and I wanted to return it. I'll go to his house. I may find him there. May the gods protect you. Good day. May the gods curse them all! It's been nearly two months, and they haven't done anything! They got what they wanted, and I didn't tell anybody. They don't say, we had an agreement with that fool, and he endangered his and his family's life for us. Where is he now? Why don't you say their names? They didn't keep their promise. Why are you keeping yours? While you're suffering, why should they be in comfort? Stop. What's 
What's wrong with you? Don't worsen the difficult situation of prison. We're two fools who tried to kill the Pharaoh Amenhotep. We didn't know he himself was a god and couldn't be killed so easily. We've been stuck in this dungeon for two months and no one has come to help us. But this fool is still loyal to those who were behind it. If we revealed who it was, we may have a chance of getting out of here. It's you who is the fool, not me. He still hasn't realized that Potiphar and Amenhotep will keep us alive only until we have something to say. Once we give them the information they want, there's no reason to keep alive those who wanted to kill a pharaoh. You know you'll be killed. So why not reveal the names of those behind it so they'll be punished as well? I'm still hopeful. Yes, I still am. Even if I'm not hopeful for myself, I won't reveal their names. No, I won't. If I mention their names, my family and relatives, I'm sure, will be killed. I'm guessing that this plot was devised by the priests at Amon Temple. Apophis is justified to be worried. They are cruel and brutal. My guess was right. Well, no. Not at all. I said I wasn't going to reveal their names, didn't I? What you do is wise. You will not save your life, but at least your wives' and children's lives. We must then take refuge in the gods. Only they can help us. If the gods could help, they would first help the priests in their own temple, wouldn't they? Ankhmahu and Patiamon. Not you. So you think that neither Amon nor Amon's priests are going to help us? I don't intend to disrespect your gods, but does it seem wise to hope for help? from a piece of rock. Who are you to call our gods pieces of rock? I'm Yuzarsif. Yuzarsif? Potiphar's Chamberlain. The one who... Zuleika. You need a mightier god to save you. These gods here can't do anything for you. Get up! Get ready! We are going to the rock mine! Get in line! Tie them! Hurry! Rus was very worried when he was leaving. He said something terrible might happen. And have you looked for him? I've searched everywhere. Nobody has seen or heard from him. There is only our relatives, and they haven't seen him either. Don't worry. We will inform you if we find him. You don't have any news from him? He hasn't come home? 
I thought that I could ask you about him. He talked constantly about you and Eminence Ankamahu on the last few days. And what did he say, for example? I don't know. He said that something important was to happen, that our situation and Apopa's position would improve. And where do you think he may have gone? I don't know. I really don't. I was hoping that you, the temple priest, would know something. What if something's happened to him, or he's in trouble? Please don't worry. I am quite sure that nothing has happened. If something had, everyone would know about it. <laughs>